Hi, this is Bob Pryor. I'm talking to you today about unit circle values, the trig values, when the argument is radians. And I hope that you've seen my degree measure one first because it has, it goes over the quadrants, just talks briefly about them, and how that all six trig functions are positive in quadrant one, that the sine and cosecant are positive in quadrant two, represented by sine, tangent cotangent in quadrant three, and cosine and secant are positive in quadrant four. I also have over here a completed chart that you can refer to as needed. Okay, let's now go ahead and find the values of trig functions when the arguments are radian measures. Let me scroll down here. Okay, remember to start off it's all about location. So, we are interested in, first of all, identifying where is 5 pi over 3. Now it's not quite 6 pi over 3, which would be here at same as 2 pi. No, it's not that, it's only 5 pi over 3. It's right here. And this is in quadrant 4, so that means that the cosine value is going to be positive, and we put a plus sign here because we know it's positive, now we don't have to go back and rediscover that in any regard. It's positive to start with, let's move on. Let's find the actual value now. This is related to 60 degrees, so 60 degrees in quadrant 1 we can use the chart. The cosine there is 1 half. So what we have is the cosine of 5 pi over 3 is positive 1 half. Cosecant 3 pi over 4. Let's see, that's 3 pi over 4. 3 fourths pi is not quite a full pi. That is right here in quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, the cosecant is positive, along with the sine. It's also positive. And 3 pi over 4 relates to pi over 4. And the value at pi over 4 for cosecant is simply square root of 2. Real quick reminder. We're not using degrees right now. We're using radian measures, and that denominator, 4, indicates that it's going to be related to pi over 4. We just have to find out what quadrant 3 pi over 4 is in and whether it makes the cosecant positive or negative. Same as up here. 5 pi over 3 is related to pi over 3. But we need to find the quadrant so we know whether it's positive or negative. Okay, 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 is in quadrant 4, and we're looking at the cotangent. So first of all, cotangent in quadrant 4 is negative. I'll put a minus sign. Then it's related to pi over 4 because of the over 4. And t cotangent of pi over 4 is 1, so this value is negative 1. Let's scroll down and see the next two. Okay, number 4. The secant of 7 pi over 6. Well, 7 6 pi is a little bit more than 1 pi. In fact, it's right here. And secant in quadrant 3 is negative. And because it's pi over 6, we relate it to pi over 6 in quadrant 1. And secant of pi over 6, according to our chart, is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Sine of 5 pi over 6. Again, over 6. But 5 pi over 6 is in quadrant 2. And the sine is positive in quadrant 2. We know it relates to pi over 6 in quadrant 1. And the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. OK, number 6. Let's see. 4 thirds pi is in quadrant 3 right there. Tangent in quadrant 3 is positive. So we'll write a plus sign here. And because it's divided by 3, it relates to pi over 3 in quadrant 1. And the tangent there is square root of 3. So that's positive square root of 3. Number 7, cosine of negative 7 pi over 4. That's almost a full circle in the negative direction, but not quite. It meets right up here in the first quadrant. So being a first quadrant value, cosine is positive. 
and let's see cosine at pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. Number 8 sine of negative 2 pi over 3. Now that's not quite a negative pi it's only two-thirds in the negative direction. That'll be right here and sine in quadrant 3 is negative so I'll write a negative sign here. By the way the fact that the argument inside is negative has nothing to do with the fact that it's negative on the outside in this case and that's because this negative 2 pi over 3 is simply arriving at a location so we're looking for the location of negative 2 pi over 3 once we find it it's in quadrant 3 sine is negative there so this is the negative on the value of the sine in quadrant 3 this negative is here on the argument and is helping us find the location okay so it's negative 2 pi over 3 related to positive pi over 3 in quadrant 1 and sine there is the square root of 3 over 2 but the full result the full answer is negative square root of 3 over 2 for this sine value number 9 secant of 3 pi we will come down here see 3 pi is come on here 1 pi 2 pi we wrap all the way around to 3 pi let's see 3 pi is related to 2 pi but it's in a different location so let's explore 3 pi a little bit this is uh, the point negative 1 0 and secant is the reciprocal of negative 1 like 1 over negative 1 but that's just negative 1 alright let's look at number 10 tangent of 5 pi over 2 hmm well 5 pi over 2 is 2 pi plus a single pi over 2 so that means that we're going to actually go around the circle once and an extra pi over 2 so we go around the circle once an extra pi over 2 takes us to this point right here which might also be considered at 90 degrees um, the tangent at 90 degrees the tangent at pi over 2 is undefined so I'll just write that undefined there you have it this is the trig functions around a unit circle when the argument is a radian. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know.